Welcome to Pure Aqua for the most advanced reverse osmosis, water treatment, and purification systems worldwide. We are at the world headquarters of Pure Aqua Inc. and production completed the fabrication of a water treatment package going to the United States for a semiconductor application with a capacity of 85 gallons a minute. To kind of start off this process with a very high level overview, of course we're feeding pressurized city water, we're passing it through a multimedia filter, followed by a carbon filter. Uh, we inject some, uh, some of Pure Aqua's proprietary anti scallon at the feet of the first pass order, which is shown behind me here. We pass the permeate of the first pass onto a second pass, um, which is the arrow here to my right. And the second pass, of course, is producing water to feed the EDI system, which is behind me here to my right as well. Um, and from there, we pass the water through a ultraviolet sterilization skit, and that also acts as a recirculation and repressurization to the point of use for, for the customer. Again, this is this, there's really four main skids. We got a first pass, second pass, EDI, and a distribution slash um, disinfection skid. So what you see here on the first pass RO is kind of re re replicated on the, on the second pass. So to kind of zoom in on some of the details, of course, on the low pressure side, we have Schedule 80 PVC piping, and we have very advanced instrumentation throughout the entire process where we, you know, we have redundancy amongst pressure transmitters, um, as well as, you know, for example, stainless steel cartridge filters, where the customer has the ability to, of course, um, you know, swap out the, the elements within these cartridge filters without um, shutting down the operation, as, as operating 24-7 is extremely critical. For, for this process. Um, kind of moving along here, um, we have, you know, of course, redundant high pressure pumps, um, which are stainless steel 316 in construction, which these, of course, will boost the pressure, you know, upwards to about 150 PSI to pass it through these extremely high rejection uh, brackish water RO membranes. Um, this is a two-stage system um, running at a relatively high recovery. Um, and again, to kind of zoom in on the instrumentation, of course, as mentioned, we got redundancy th throughout the process where in some cases we have redundant flow meters, again, because of how critical the, the operation is for, for the end user here. Um, again, the, each system has its own unique and separate PLC, but each PLC communicates with the other as they share uh, certain pieces of information, such as you know tank levels, um, conditions of um, each system in case there's a fault that we're able to bypass certain parts of the process. So to kind of talk about the, you know, the, the, of course, the heart of the process, which is the EDI system or electrodeionization, um, you know, starting from the feed side, um, we have uh, alternating feed pumps um, that, as shown here, again, part of that redundancy the customer requires. Um, from there, we pass the water through just a, you know, a, a one micron filter just for added polishing in case there's any sediment that, that, that gets caught in the storage tanks before this. Um, as shown here, of course, we got, you know, again, redundant instrumentation. We have temperature sensors, pressure transmitters, you know, feed conductivity sensors, um, pressure relief valves at the discharge of the pumps, and, and so on. Now, to kind of go, you know, after this feed side of the process, of course, we have our um, EDI modules, which are shown behind me. And again, these are also redundant. And the redundancy is also consistent with the controls as well, where we are um, have redundant controls where it really offers the customer true redundancy in case something fails and they can continue again their 24 seven operation. So what's really unique about this EDI system is it produces a consistent 18 mega ohm water, um, which meets the customer's requirements as this is critical or, or else, you know, that water is rejected and will have, you know, and cannot be used within when their process for, for um, that's semiconductor manufacturing. And the final step of this, of course, is a UV sterilizer, which is shown to my right here, um, where the water after, of course, passes the EDI, goes through that UV sterilizer into a storage tank. And then from there, we have an additional skid that will distribute and repressurize the water to their point of use. Again, this is going here to the United States. Semiconductor manufacturing is the application, as mentioned several times. Um, 85 gallons a minute is our capacity and producing a very consistent 18 mega ohm water. Thank you for choosing Pure Aqua as your primary supplier.